Hello, welcome to episode 332. We're going to be doing villager dialogue, which is also using clickable tell raw. Okay, so this was a request by Who's Tiger Cub, and I've made this in version 1.20.6 because that's the version they wanted it done in, but I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work in earlier versions, probably 1.19, probably earlier. Uh, I haven't checked, but I'm not using any of the new commands, so you're probably fine. Uh, but what we got is we got Bob and we got Tom. Now I can talk to Bob. I click on him once, he says hello. I click on him again, he says what would you like to know, and he gives me two options. I click on him again, and he goes back to hello. What he's doing there is he's cycling through hello, and then these options, and he's going back hello, and these options. He's just doing this. Okay, so Bob, tell me something. Tell me, t tell me about Tom. Tom has my emerald. Go and get it. Well, that's a bit rude. Okay, well, where is Tom? He's right next to me. Are you blind? Oh, <laughs> Okay, sorry, right. And now he's going to just keep cycling through these stuff until we go off. So let's go and talk to Tom. Hi, Tom. Tom says, hey, how can I help you? Do you have Bob's emerald? Yes, it's my shiny now. Oh, please, can I have the emerald? No, you can't. Okay. And by talking to him, I have progressed Bob's chat. So instead of Bob now doing this option, and this option, he's now just going to cycle between this option. So he's going to keep saying the same thing here. So let's go back to Bob. He's now saying, will Tom give my emerald back? I say, I didn't ask. You're useless. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. He said, no. Oh, poop. Okay. And obviously, we can now have him progress his chat. and uh, Or you can have him say, yes, I will give you the emerald and give you the emerald back. You can do all sorts of stuff run any commands you like. At the, at the moment, the only command we're running when we do Tom is we are progressing his chat. Later on, I'll show you how you could get him to give the emerald. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a long one, I'm afraid. So you might want to strap yourself in because it's going to take a while. Uh, hopefully the idea is that you don't want to copy mine because it's very unlikely you're going to want to be doing this dialogue. So I'm hoping that you'll understand enough that you can then create your own dialogues. Uh, these wall colors I'll explain. I explain them a bit later on, but basically chat progress. As you say, Tom was stuck saying hello and then some options and going back. And then we spoke to Tom and Bob moved on to using these options instead. Okay, anyway, enough waffling on because I say this is going to be a long one. I think this is the longest one I've done. So sorry about that. I try to make it quick, but it's not at all. Anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. Let's get on and make it now. Okay, first thing we're going to need is quite a bit of setup, um, which is usually just scoreboards for me. But today we're also going to be enabling some triggers. Okay, setup. Right, we're going to need an objective so if a player has talked to a villager. So scoreboard objectives add um, has talked kind of makes sense and it will be of type custom and is it talked talked to villager yeah, yeah this seems happy okay done I'm gonna give each villager an ID I'm gonna use that for um, which villager am I near Instead of giving, instead of going on names, because I'd probably have to hard code all those. So I think this might work better. Obviously, if anyone knows better ways to do these, please do tell me. I mean, I'm, I'm always happy to learn and I can redo videos so uh, we can all get better. Um, so what am I going to add? A villager ID. Let's call it villager ID then. That just makes sense. Dummy. Okay. And now, if it was for single player, I could... Um, store the progress of the chat, like how far are you through a conversation with the villager? We could store that on the player or on the villager, probably better on the villager itself. But with multiplayer, you don't want one person coming up and saying, hey, where's the lost cave? And then raiding the lost cave and coming back. And the villager saying, oh, well done for raiding the lost cave. And then a new player comes along and they get the message, well done for raiding the lost cave. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm going to have to store the chat progress on each player individually. Which means we're going to need a scoreboard for each villager and a trigger for each villager. So I'm going to do two villagers. So let's do scoreboard 
objectives add and we'll have chat progress I'll just call it one dummy I'm just going to copy that control C and I'm going to have a chat progress two. so that's going to save on myself it's going to save my progress with villager one and my progress with villager two uh, obviously these are all only run one time so it doesn't really matter how many there are yeah you know well you don't want thousands let's not go crazy scoreboard objectives add trigger uh, let's give the should I give the villager a name instead of calling it trigger one or we could call it trigger one let's call him Bob trigger Bob I'm mixing up my naming conventions now really I should have chat progress Bob and trigger Bob or chat progress one and trigger one to keep it more sensible but it's too late now there we go it's done okay so we've got a trigger Bob we're going to use triggers because we need this to run on a server and players aren't going to be opt so they're not going to be able to run all the commands because we're using tell raw clickable check text which I believe just runs if the player can run the command as if they typed it so we need to use triggers now if we're going to have one of those let's get another one we'll have another villager as well villager number two let's call him Tom Bob and Tom and we're going to need to enable those triggers so we'll do scoreboard players enable for all players trigger see I'm already starting to forget trigger Bob done control middle mouse and trigger Tom okay so that should all be our stuff all set up let's get a little bit of fence and let's find somewhere for our villagers to live you're gonna live in there and one can live in there and we may, may well want to be killing them for testing purposes. <laughs> it sounds pretty evil, but it is true. So let's do kill. Um, so we'll kill any entity. Let's give them all the common tags. So let's call them all uh, NPC. That makes sense. Uh, um, really? Tag equal any oh any entity no that's right wow <laughs> what have I done what have I done that I can't even write a kill command kill any entity tag equals you don't you don't have the the speech marks wow this is going to go well <laughs> okay let's keep going I I've forgotten how to do a kill command and a tag nice right. Let's summon a villager and whatever we'll summon him there. So we've got one, two, three. Okay, that's three in the positive Z. I know it's positive Z because I do all of these tutorials and that direction is always positive Z. You'd think I'd remember by now. So let's summon Bob. We will summon a villager. One, two, three, and we said positive three. Bump, and we need to give some tags. So we'll give him, let's give him two tags. NPC, so we can kill them all, target them all at once, and we'll give this one just Bob. I don't think we actually need this, but I like to tag everything anyway, just in case later I want to target Bob. Let's make him invulnerable. Now, if you're testing this in creative, you'll still be able to punch him, even if he's invulnerable. I think this only works in survival mode or adventure mode. So invulnerable true. Uh, let's give him a custom let's give him a custom name uh, those are a little apostrophes there either side text the name is Bob um, and we want to change the way it looks so let's give him some villager data and we're going to choose a profession I'm going to go with uh, Librarian. Librarian. And it will also need, where is he from? What type of librarian is he? He is from uh, the Plains. Now, I don't think that will work. 
because I think you have to specify a level. So if we just do that, yeah, there we go. Bye, Bob. <laughs> so after planes, we'll also give him a level as well. And we'll put it set it at 99. He hasn't got any trades. There we go, that's better. Now, if I click on him, he should just shake his head. Mm -mm. But that still counts as me interacting with him. In fact, let's do scoreboard objectives. Set display sidebar. We are looking for has talked. One, two, three. Cool. Bye, Bob. Right. And I'm also going to want to give Bob um, a score. It's going to be his ID. So let's do that in here. Scoreboard. Players. Set. Any player. Oh, we are going to use his tag. Tag equals Bob. And we'll set his villager ID to one. Okay, Bob's got an ID of one. Done. Okay, Bob. Yeah, I think you'll finish, Bob. Let's let's clear up the inventory. And let's copy this one and this one. Let's get a sign. Pop that down there, pop that down there. Pop that down there. Summon Tom. Go to button, pop that on there. Let's just make the changes. Okay, you can be a you can be a cleric. A cleric from where? Anywhere you like. Um, any of the biomes that have different versions. Cleric from the jungle. From the jungle. Jungle and you're not Bob. You are an NPC, so we'll keep that tag. You're not Bob. You're Tom. And we better change your name as well. Are done and then anyone called Tom we will give her an ID of this two done okay so there's Tom hey looking good there Tom okay okay the score is going up score is going up right we know the score goes up let's take that off the sidebar because we know that works let's clear the chat f3 and D okay right now, I want to know who I'm closest to. Now, when you have them very close like this, it's possible to stand closer to, to Bob and click on Tom. Now, that, our system can't really deal with that. You need them a little bit further apart. But I'm assuming if, you, if, Tom, if Bob says, go and talk to Tom now, they're not going to be standing right next to each other. Bob, you could just talk to Tom yourself. So we're not going to worry about that. Let's pop this down here. Let's get a lever. I don't have one. Do you think I should put silent into their summoning thing? I think I should, <laughs> because it's going to get rather annoying. Silent, true, copy that. Yeah, yeah, you know what's going to happen to you. Okay, right, we'll put them back. There we go, now you can be quiet. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Tom, I seem to have spawned you into the, into the fence. There we go. I'm not going to move that. We know what it does. Okay, let's make this controller. What is this controller going to do? Controller. And it's going to be... As I say, proximity. This is going to set my ID to whichever one I'm near. Uh, so it's going to be repeating. And it's going to be... Need redstone. It's need redstone because I'm using a lever. For your map, you probably just want to keep this always on. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my villager ID score to zero and then we'll do a check to see who we're near so let's just do scoreboard players set at any player whose scores equals uh probably the bump villager ID equals one or higher so anyone who's got a score of villager ID one or higher Set it to zero. Okay. Done. Then after we've done that, bump, we will execute as all players at that player if entity, any entity whose type equals villager whose tag equals NPC 
whose distance equals, I'm going to say, 0 to 3. So for my version, you have to be within 3 blocks of the villager. You might want to set this higher, because obviously you can click from higher than 3 blocks away. And we don't need the 0 if we don't want it. And we'll say limit equals 1. And should we say sort equals nearest? Actually, we don't need that there. All we're doing at the moment is checking there is a villager there. Okay. Then what we'll do is run scoreboard players operation at S at the player. The villager ID will equal the villager ID of type equals villager tag equals npc limit equals one sort equals nearest just in case there's more than one within range and we'll say distance equals naught to three and we want to copy their villager id okay done so let's put that onto the scoreboard Villager ID. So they've got those. So it's showing their IDs, one and two. Now, if I walk close, if I turn it on, if I walk close, now I've got two because I'm nearest to Tom. And if I walk off to Bob, I've got one. Two when I'm near Tom, one when I'm near Bob. Okay, that seems all right. Right, that seems to be working. Let's take it off the sidebar. Okay, right. Um, and I think... If I'm not near an entity, I want to reset my has talked score. Because what might happen is I might have a, a villager here that I'm trading books with. Uh, here he is. Oh, he looks like a lever. He was going to be a block. Here he is. Uh, I trade with him, blonk, and I get a has talked score of one. And now I walk over here and I stand next to Tom and it goes, oh, you've got a has talked score of one, have you? Bang. And he talks instantly without me interacting with him. I don't want that. So I'm going to add an extra thing on here. I'm going to execute as all players with the scores equals has talked equals one or higher at that player unless there is an entity whose type equals villager tag equals npc distance equals naught to three well actually this is three or i say naught to three this is not naught this is naught to three this is three or less so it could be a minus number i don't know how you get a minus distance of a of an entity though unless you i suppose climb inside it which is weird and limit equals one. So if we are near an entity, we're not going to do this. Run scoreboard. Players. Reset. For the player. Has talked. Okay. Done. So now if we, we can go and trade with villagers now. Our has talked score is going to go up. But we're not near a tagged NPC, so it's going to reset it back to zero. So when we walk over here, we're not going to instantly talk without interacting with him. Okay, I'd say that one's done. Right, now we're going to need to set up some dialogue. So I'm going to need to check, have I talked? And if I have talked, then which villager am I standing near? Okay. So let's set up some dialogue. Uh, which is the best way to do this? Should we run it up here? We might have to move them, but let's do this. Controller. And I suppose this would be Bob Dialogue. Yeah, okay, that sounds all right. That sounds all right. Right. We are going to execute as any player whose scores equals first thing we want to do have they talked has talked equals one or higher yeah 
And who are they talking to? So I'm talking to Bob. He's got an ID of one. So villager ID equals one. Uh, and now, if this is the first time you've ever talked to someone, your chat progress is going to be null. So you're not even going to have a score because otherwise we could do a score check in here. We could say chat progress equals, but that will not include null. So for this first time that we talk to someone, we have to take into that, we have to take into account that their score could be null. So we'll say unless score at s chat progress one, that's Bob, matches one or higher, run tell raw at s and let's get a load of stuff in here. Um, we'll have two entries. First one will have text in it. And the second one's just gonna have text in it. Okay. So we'll have text. Uh, and let's put a name. Oh, don't shout Bob. Bob. Okay, text. Bob, yeah, let's get the color as well. Color, what color should we use for names? I don't just pick anything at random. Aqua is gonna do. Okay, it's all still red, and I think that's probably because we don't have text in here. There we go. So Bob in Aqua, he is gonna say like, hello. Makes sense, it's the first time we've ever met him. Oh, he can, yeah, he can smile. There we go, he's smiling too, he's nice. And let's give that a different color just to separate it from the name a bit. Color out uh, green. Okay, done. Turn it on. Right, let's go and talk to Tom. Nothing happens. That's cool, Tom. Let's go. Ooh, oh, oh, look at that. We have got massive spamming. Now, the reason that's spamming is because we're not resetting anything. So we better do a bit of a reset. So let's get a block here. And we'll put it on the end. And we'll say scoreboard players set anyone, uh, any player, uh, no, 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 any player whose scores equals has talked equals one or higher. And I don't want to if affect other villagers. So let's, let's lose the villager ID as well, just to be safe. Villager ID equals one. So we're chatting to Bob and chat progress one equals one. Is that right? Chat progress equals one. Yes, okay, that, that should do. Um, and we'll set that to minus one. Why am I setting it to minus one? Because I'm gonna increment it as well. Done, let's put all the commands in. We'll do scoreboard. We'll start shouting halfway through that command. Scoreboard players add all players scores equals has talked equals one or higher bridger id equals one chat progress one okay done and i'll put one more command we'll go through all these commands at the same time scoreboard players Reset for all players has taught. Okay, let's go and check to see if we've got something that actually works. Right, Bob. Hello. Why? Right, he's not doing anything else. He's just saying hello one time. So let's have a look at chat progress one. It's on five, six, seven. Okay, so that's going up. So we've got a little problem with our reset. So we chat to him, he says something. Next, 
Okay, we've got a problem at the end. Have I just missed off what I'm taking the score off? I think that's what I've done. Chat progress one. Done. We'll come back and look at those commands in a minute, just so we understand them. Okay, chat progress is going up. Let's reset that ourselves. Scoreboard. Players. Reset for me. Chat progress one. Okay, so it's, I've got nothing. I arrive for the first time. I see, he says hello. And then I click again. And it goes to zero. And then he says hello. I click again. It goes to zero. Okay, that's not good. So what we're doing is we're waiting too long here. So has talked equals one. Village is yes. Chat progress equals one. We'll change that to a zero. Right. Okay, so have they talked? Has the player talked? Are they talking to Bob? And are they currently on Bob's response zero? If they are, then we'll set them back to minus one. Then we go, have they talked? Are they talking to Bob? If they are, we'll add one to their chat progress. So they're now back onto zero. And we'll remove has talked. Okay, let's go back to Bob and have a little chat with him. Hello, uh, hello, 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 hello. Good, Bob, well done. Right, so what's happening is we're, he's talking and we're just going back here. So next time he talks again and we're going back here and he talks again. So we're just sort of doing this around this little loop here. Let's add some extra chat to him. So let's clear out this inventory. Right, so we've got the reset bits. That's going to be these bits here. These are going to always be on the end, these two command blocks. So let's take them, control middle mouse, control middle mouse, and we'll just put them over here out the way. Let's check. Well, I did get the commands. I did. I did. Let's get rid of them. Okay, so we should just have... He speaks. Yeah. And then we're going back for here, reset, and then over here. Right, let's add some extra little bits of chat. So let's copy this block. Control copy. And let's put this in here. Okay, so. In fact, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one. So that's our one that's resetting it to zero. Let's not reset it to zero yet. So what we've got. If you're talking to Bob, and the villager ID is one, yeah, okay, that seems good. Uh, he just says hello. Right, now next click. We're going to have to make some changes to this because it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, next click. Has talked, yes. Villager ID one, yes, we're still talking to Bob. Chat progress equals naught. No, 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 let's do chat progress equals one. Okay, and let's take away that. So, oh, it's the wrong command. I've copied the wrong command. I'm sorry. What I should have done is copied the chatting command. Where is that? I don't have it. We'll have to type it again. Okay, well, we'll just type it again. That's no problem. Oh, no, it's this one. <laughs> My brain has fallen off. It's the first one. Here it is. That's why I didn't make a copy. Okay. Right, back to the beginning. Execute if he's talked. Yes. If the ID is one. Yes. And now, because we did this last time and less score, we know they have a score of at least zero. Their score is not null anymore. So we can do a chat progress check in here now. Chat. progress one equals last time we just said one or higher this time we'll say it equals one so we don't need the unless score bit so we can get rid of all of that and he's going to say something else what can he say um he could say uh, what would you like to know about that's what he's going to say 
what would you like to know? Okay. Done. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get our reset. So this is the one that takes, sets it back to minus one. Just so you know, because it's going to be a bit confusing with me moving all these commands around continuously. Let's have a look back inside. This is the one that is setting the score back to minus one. And let's take the actual reset at the end here. Copy that, copy that. Okay. Now, Bob, what are you going to do now? Hello, hello, hello. He's just saying hello. Okay, our progress is not changing. It's constantly staying on zero. Okay. So it's never equaling one. So and the reason that is, is in here, we are saying if the player has talked and they're talking to Bob and their chat progress is zero, then set it back to minus one. Ah, so we're never actually making it to the second thing. Let's change this to one. Done. Okay. All right, now Bob says, hello, what would you like to know? Hello, what would you like to know? Hello, what would you like to know? Well, okay, Bob, we get the idea. So what we're doing is we're playing this one, and then we're going along here, adding one. Well, we'll go along here and resetting if we're at the end, but we're not here yet, so we don't reset. Then we add one. And then we removed have to talk. So next time it goes along here, we've added one. So it does this one. And then it, it says you are at the end and it resets. So we're going this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Cool. Okay. Right. Let's take these two off the end again. And we're going to temporarily remove this one as well. Just pop you there. That's the one that's resetting us back to the beginning. Okay. Let's add some more text. Let's put another one in here. Now let's start doing some of the tell raw stuff. Oh, we've done tell raw. Let's do some of the click events. So he's going to give me some options. So let's change this from Bob. This is going to say option. And we'll change his color as well to make it different. So we know it's not Bob talking. So option. Or I suppose you could say you, because this is effectively going to be what we're saying. Um, uh, tell me about Tom. Now let's, let's distinguish this. Let's make it gold. And then maybe in, in your map rules, you can say any gold text in chat, you can click on to interact with. Okay. So we're going to make that gold and then let's add a click event to it. And this is where we're going to be using our triggers. So tell me about Tom gold. We'll stay in there and we want the click event. So that's speech marks, speech marks, colon, open the brackets and then two sets of these. Little speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks group. This is a click event. Okay. What action would you like to do with your click event? Well, thank you for asking. I would like to run a command. I would like to run underline command. Okay, that's no problem. What is the value of your command? <laughs> what is the value of your command? Well, the value of my command is I want to trigger trigger Bob uh, set one. Done. Let's copy that. Control copy. Put another one down. That wasn't control copy, that was control middle mouse. Um, so we're going to say something. It's going to give us two options. So it's still an option, still the same beginning here. Execute as, yeah. Chat equals one, yeah. Tell raw option is still an option. Tell me about Tom, that's what we want to change. Um, where is Tom? Where is Tom? And we'll have a different click event and that will Makes sense, we'll set it to two. Done. Okay. Clear the chat. That's not chat, that's cleared my inventory. 
pop on the little reset. So this is this reset is just for these bits of text. Each little group of text will have its own reset. And then right at the end, we have the main reset for the whole lot. OK. So, Tom, uh, Bob, what do you say now? Hello. What would you like to know? Tell me about Tom. Where is Tom? OK, that looks good. If I click on one of those now, let's see what happens. Triggered. I set it to one. You cannot trigger this objective yet. I need to re-enable it. If you don't re-enable it, you are not going to be able to use it again. OK. Do you know what, Bob? You're a pain in the butt. Let's go. So actually, we could just re-enable it by running that again, because at the end we've got the re-enables. So it's re-enabled again. Um, I'm going to leave that there. Remember, that's the reset for each group. So we've got the group. Our group is, hello, what would you like to know about? Two options. That's going to be one group. Uh, maybe, maybe we could put some stuff on there. So you know it's a group. Hmm. I'll leave it for now, but it might make it clearer later. Uh, okay, so let's take off the end bits. Actually, no, let's do... Let's do something for... For Tom. Should we get a, should we get a chat for Tom? Okay, so we'll save them. We need them later. Um, actually, what we should do is the triggers. There's so many little modules to this one. My brain is thinking, which is the best order to do them all for you? And I think we'll do the trigger check. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a trigger check. So we'll, we'll get Bob, we'll get Bob working completely before we work on anyone else. Um, where should we put these? I don't think it matters where you put them, <clears throat> but I'm just going to put them out of the way just in case this gets a bit longer. Um, should we go back here? It's got to be long enough. Okay. This is going to be... Let's get that. I suppose this is going to be Bob's trigger controllers. Controller. Trigger. Bob. Let's get a lever. Pop it on the top. <clears throat> okay, we're going to execute as all players do scores equals trigger bob equals one run set block uh, I'll do redstone block okay so positive x so we're setting a block let's have a look positive x one, two, we're setting one there. I'm just going to check something in that hole. Let's clear it out. It's going to be impulse, needs redstone. Set block, block above me to white wool. Done. And here, let's just do uh, one. Let's just say, oh, let's say one. Okay, so this is going to be checking if we have a trigger of one let's turn it on ah, we're going to need a reset we're definitely going to need a reset there it's going crazy okay calm down bob we'll fix you uh let's turn that off for now right so let's put another one of these down uh so we better do scoreboard players reset uh all players Trigger, trigger Bob. That, oops, you need to be chain always active. And we've got to re-enable it as well, haven't we? So we can use it again. The scoreboard, players, enable, all players. Do I type it? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Trigger Bob. Scoreboard players, enable. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. Let's turn it back on. Just said one and stopped. Okay, so Bob, if I talk to you, you say hello. Then I talk again and you give me two options. I can now say, tell me about Tom. And it says, triggered Bob, and it's done that one. Where is Tom? 
Ah, uh, nothing from that one. Let's remove this triggered, triggered Bob, blah, 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 blah. We don't want it. We don't need that message. So game rule, send command feedback, false. Hello, and we're not going to be able to use it again because we did where is Tom and we don't have anything resetting where is Tom. So let's do a reset. Let's copy this one, paste it down. It's going to be impulse always active. And we're just changing that from one to two. And then we'll do this, this, we'll copy that. We'll say two instead. We'll copy that. Control mouse, copy that. Control middle mouse. Okay, reset trigger Bob, yes. Enable trigger Bob and say something different. Okay, it's still disabled, so let's re-enable it for our test. Here we go. Hello, tell me about Tom. One, tell me about Tom. One, where is Tom? You cannot trigger this objective yet. Okay, so we've clearly made a mistake. Scoreboard, players, enable, all players. Trigger Bob. Ethereum's, that's not, let me copy that. I'll just run it in chat. Where is Tom is not doing anything. Okay, why is where is Tom not doing anything? I think I know, let's go in here. Oh, I don't know. It should be setting it to two. Okay, let's do our trigger check. Let's change what we're displaying on the sidebar to trigger Bob. Currently set to two. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's the stupidest thing. This is an impulse block. That's not going to be doing anything. That's supposed to be a chain. There we go. <laughs> okay. A little bit of troubleshooting. So, Bob, I can talk to you. Hello, yeah, hello, Bob. Okay, tell me about Tom. One, where is Tom? Two, one, two. Okay, that where is, that little full stop at the end of that where is Tom is frustrating me. Okay, so that's working. Great. Where is Tom? Where is that one? Is it here? I'm just, I'm sorry, let's just let's get rid of that. There we go. Right, so we now have it cycling between this message. And then these three messages, this message, these three messages. And then we have a reset. So can we use, maybe use a piece of wool on there or something. Um, let's mark that wool. What I'll do is I'll have white for first message, green, uh, gray for next message. Then we'll have orange for little reset, red for big reset. So he plays this message. Then he goes along and he goes for the little reset and it goes back here. And then he plays these three. So play this little reset, play these little reset, play this little reset. That's, that's what it's doing. And these two at the end are the hard reset for everything. Okay, right, let's get rid of them for now. Clear the chat. Okay, so we can talk to him and he's going to give us very little information because this is not helpful. We need him to actually say something useful. So, um, let's get rid of that say because that's obviously just saying stuff to absolutely everyone. So let's do tell raw all players whose scores equals trigger Bob equals one. And what we're we going to say, we we'll just make it look a bit nicer. Um, one, two, make sure it's a comma. You have that in, you have that in. And we're going to need colors as well. So text, and it will be Bob talking. Bob, need the extra space. And names we decided were going to be Aqua. And let's put this one in. And then we have more text. 
and this is going to be what he says. Uh, uh, Tom has my emerald. Go and get it. Oh, okay, you're very demanding there, Bob. Um, and color, and it's not going to be clickable, so we'll say it's green, so players know. Yeah, that'll do. Done. In fact, actually, let's just copy that. Copy. Done. And this was for option two. Where is Tom? So what's he going to say for where is Tom? Well, first we should change the trigger, because we're on trigger two now. Okay. What is a uh, he's right next to to me? Are you blind? He's going to have a question mark and an exclamation mark. I'm not liking Bob to be honest here. He's a bit, he's a bit rude. Right, Bob. Let's read deep. Hello. Tell me about Tom. Where is Tom? Tom has my emerald. Go and get it. Oh. I don't really want to help you. Where is Tom? He's right next to me. Are you blind? Okay, here he is. He's right there. Hello, Tom. Tom, what do you say? Tom says absolutely nothing. So, we're going to set one of these up for Tom. So could we just copy what we've got? What, sort, what options should we give Tom to say? Um, so, let's do it. He's going to, yeah, I think he's going to start sort of the same way. He's going to have... He's going to say something like, hello, hey. Then he's going to give me two options. One, two, three. So he's going to give me the two options. Then he's going to have the reset so he cycles through. And then he's going to have the main resets as well. So I'm copying the whole thing. Okay, let's go. Let's go a bit further away. Oh, no, we can go. We can go right next to it. I was just thinking that if we want to run his commands like this that way, but what we'll do is we'll just run his commands that way instead. Okay, so let's put all of this down. And then basically we just need to go through and change a few things. So this is a controller for Tom dialogue. Controller. Tom dialogue. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Has talked villager ID. Well, villager ID is now two because we're talking to Tom. And let's score chat progress. Chat progress would be two because we're talking to Tom. Uh, change his name to Tom. Hello. Uh, he doesn't say hello. He's Let's say he's a bit more chill. Hey. Okay, done. Let's move on to the next one. Home. Once again, villager ID will now be two. Chat progress will be two. Tell raw will be from Tom. Aqua text, what would you like to know? He, no, he's not gonna say that. He's gonna say, how can I help you? How can I help? How can I help you? Keep going, make sure there's nothing else we need to change. No, done, next one. Home, it's gonna be all the standard changes we just did. Villager ID is two, chat progress two equals one. Tell raw option, we keep that the same. Tell me about Tom, that's a bit weird. Uh, what can he say? I, um, do you have Bob's? Emerald. I think we're making some sort of little story here. Do you have Bob's emerald? Color gold, click event, run command, trigger, trigger Bob. No. Trigger Tom. Uh, done. And let's go through this one. Villager ID 2. Chat progress 2. Run tell roll option. Where is Tom? No, we know. It. You're talking to me, you fool. Um, can I have the emerald? I should say please. Please can I have the emerald? I'm not as rude as those two. Please can I have the emerald? Color gold, click event, run command. Trigger Tom set to two. Okay. 
done. Next one. Home has talked is fine, but the villager ID will be two. The chat progress ID would be two. Chat progress two. And again, villager ID is two. Chat progress two. And the last one is probably the same, has taught. Cool. Now, have we just managed to set Tom up? Let's turn you on in one go flawlessly. Tom, we've just been speaking to Bob there. And you don't want to talk at all. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm very disappointed in you. Is it because we have not enabled anything? Okay. So we're going to have to do a little bit of check. Let's check. First of all, well, we know we know the ID was working. We checked that. So let's change it from trigger Bob to trigger Tom. Zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do chat progress two. Oh, no score on chat progress two. Okay. Which one adds to chat progress two? This one. No entity was found. So is it our has talked? Let's do has talked. It's definitely appearing. We can see it flashing there. Okay, so that's appearing. Let's go and have a look at the commands then. We should at least be getting this first one. What have we done? Execute as all players. Score has talked. That was definitely happening. Villager ID equals two. Maybe we should check that. Unless score chat progress two matches one or higher. Tell raw. Okay, let's check our villager ID. Uh, it's definitely two. Okay, let's game rule send command feedback true just in case that's going to help us. No, he's not going to tell us any information. Oh, well, all those conditions seem to be met. Execute. Has talked equals one. Yes. Villager ID equals two. Yes. Okay. I tell you what, maybe this line here is resetting our has talked before this line is running. Let's try making that conditional. So that's only going to reset if we reset there. And we'll do the same here. There we go. That's what the problem is. So what's happening is this line is running before this line. It's shooting down here and it's resetting my has talked score. And then this one is saying, well, no one's talked, so I'm not going to do anything. Now we've made this one only run if this is running. And this is a bit more picky. It only wants has talked villager IDs. Okay, cool. So now he says, hey, and he says, do you have, and we've got two choices. Do you have Bob's Emerald? Please, can I have the Emerald? Okay, Tom. Great, you're getting somewhere. Let's clear that nasty big thing off the uh, sidebar. Right, so uh, did we change the triggers? We changed the triggers, didn't we? Let's, let's check. Trigger, yep. Yeah. So let's go over here. Let's copy that. Let's copy that. We'll keep them in line. You're in line with that one. Okay, you can go in line with this one. And we're just going to change it to trigger, trigger Tom. And I'm going to put a minus on there. So we're going the opposite direction. So you'll be trigger Tom. And we'll put a minus on there. Okay. So these are, this is the controller or trigger Tom. And you can see as you add more triggers, obviously this is doing Trigger one, trigger two, trigger three, four, five, six, seven, blah, 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 off you go. And probably you could just stack them on top of each other as well. So you could have um, Bob could be here and then Tom could be here going that way and the next village are there. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's keep going. Let's copy these bits. 
Okay. And let's copy all of this. Clear. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, okay. So this is going to be for uh, trigger Tom instead. It'll be Tom speaking. And this is if we ask a message. What was this? I can't even remember what message we're asking. Tom has my... Well, I've forgotten. I have completely forgot what... Tom? Hey, yeah, yeah. Do you have Bob's Emerald? Okay, so trigger one is do you have Bob's Emerald? He's going to say... What's he going to say? Yeah, of course he's got it. Yes. It's my shiny now. Done. Reset Trigger Tom. Enable Trigger Tom. Turn that on. Tom, do you have Bob's Emerald? Yes, it's my shiny now. Okay, and we can turn that game rule back off as well. So, and what was the other one? Can I have it? Can I have it? Please, can I have it? What's he going to say if I say, please, can I have it? Let's, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. So you're just the same. You're just the same. And you will be trigger Tom 2. I'm saying, can I have it? Well, no. No, you can't. <laughs> That's what we'll say. No. No, you can't. Done. Okay. Tom? Hey. Do you have Bob's Emerald? Yes, it's my shiny now. Can I have it? No, you can't. Okay. Well, great. Now, what I want, though, is I want our us talking to Tom, I want to change what Bob says. Because Bob's just going to keep saying the same thing. Hello, what would you like to know? Tell me about Tom. Where is Tom? I've, I've spoken to Tom. So, we're going to want to add some extra stuff in there. Let's go back to Bob's dialog and add some extra stuff. Okay. So, clear. The red resets are always on the end. So, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. And we'll put it safe just here for now. Let's check the commands to copy. Yes, they did. Okay, let's get rid of that. So those are my my red commands. We we leave the little orange because we're going to a new group of a new group of chatting now. So at the moment we talk to him, he's only cycling through these. He'll never move. Now what we want to do is we want him to be able to jump over this orange block and go to a new group of options. So I think what we what we'll do is we'll just copy all of this. So. Actually, we'll just copy these three. So he'll say a message, he'll ask a question, and then we'll have two responses. So let's do asks a question and his two, our two choices. And we'll put down a white wall just to say this is, this is all one group that he shows at the same time. Okay, home. Villager ID 1, chat progress 1. Okay, so we're probably going to want to move the chat progress up to 2. 12, you could put 12 if you want. 2. Run, tell Rob Bob will say something different. What's Bob going to say now? Um, will Tom give my emerald back? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and he's going to give us two choices. Uh, trigger Bob set one. No, this will be the third one we're doing now. And choice one. I, I didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't ask. Home. And what did we say? The chat ID was two there we go done next one well we've done three so this would be four um 
What other response can I give? I didn't ask. Uh, uh, he said no. He said no. And this would be chat two as well. Two. Done. Okay. So we, he says this, he says this, he resets. What we're going to do there now is in one of Tom's responses, we're going to jump over this little soft reset. So he's going to keep, he's going to get stuck in here. That's what we're going to do. Okay. And then we'll have the hard reset. So let's get the hard reset. I think this is it here. Let's have a look. Okay. Villager ID. Oh no, we need the soft reset first. So we need to copy our little soft reset here. Let's copy that one. Okay. And this should set it to minus one. Well, if we set it to minus one, we're going to go all the way back to here. So I probably want to set it to... Do I want to set it to one? Let's try one. And then we have the hard reset. So this will be our saw. Okay, let's try it. So far though, he's, he's never going to get here. We're going to have to... Tom, one of your answers is going to have to <coughs> progress our chat progress. Progress our chat progress. Actually, I think both of his answers will. Because we've talked to him. So I think what we're going to do here is these blocks are the same, same, same. Yeah, we'll take them. What we're going to do is we're going to put another block in here. <clears throat> now it's just going to say scoreboard players add or no set we want to control exactly which piece of speech he's now going to get moved to all players whose scores equals trigger tom equals one chat progress one so now set bob's chat progress to two Okay, done. Control middle mouse, copy that, put it in there, change the trigger to two. Get our end blocks. That one, then that one. So now when I talk to one of, use one of Tom's options, it's going to jump my chat progress with Bob over this reset. So instead of using these bits, we're going to now be, whoop, over here. <laughs> let's try. Okay, let's clear the, all the blocks out. Bob, hello. Tell me about Tom. Where is Tom? Is my emerald? He's right next to me. Tom doesn't want to speak to me at all. Tom, why don't you want to speak to me? What's your problem? You were fine a minute ago. Have we done something silly and crazy? We're not resetting. Have we turned you off? Tom! Ah, we didn't put this one back to conditional. <laughs> there we go. Tom, please. Thank you, Tom. Do you have Bob's Emerald? Yes, it's my shiny now. Okay. Yeah. You cannot trigger this objective yet, so we've got a problem with resetting that. Okay, but what about Bob? What's Bob doing now? Will Tom give my Emerald back? Ah, I didn't ask. And no, can't trigger those. Okay. What if I talk to him again? And now he's not talking to me at all. So we've got a few problems to fix. First thing. Why is he not saying anything? Because we're using trigger three and four. So we are going to need to copy those. And one, two. You are going to be trigger three. You are going to be trigger four. Um, we'll turn that off for the moment, just so I, there we go. Copy that, one there, one there. 
Uh, this will be trigger three. Okay, so this is when I say I didn't ask. Has Bob, has Tom got my emerald? I didn't ask. You are useless. And he said no. Um, I don't know. <laughs> What's he going to say if, if he said no? Um, what can he say? What can he say? So what's Tom's what's Tom's response going to be when he says no? Um, oh, poop. Okay, trigger Bob equals four. Put one of them in. Put one of them in. Turn that on. You are useless. There we go. Because it remembered the one we just said. Should have reset it. Can we still talk to you, Bob? No, no you don't want to talk. Okay, Tom. How are you feeling? You want to say hey? Do you have Bob Emerald? Cannot trigger this objective. Okay, so something's stopping that from resetting. Which is a bit... Okay. Let's remove all these spare blocks. Just before... I like to tidy up before I troubleshoot. Okay, what's stopping his score from resetting? I think, probably, just because we're in the middle of doing stuff. So let's do that. So where are you at the moment? Oh, you don't even want to talk to me at all now. Okay. But you will. Do you have Bob's Emeralds? Yes, it's my shiny now. You cannot trigger this objective. So he did say, it's my shiny now. So he's saying this. He's doing this. These aren't conditional, so these should be running. Reset Tom. Oh, reset Tom. We've got we've copied the same block here twice. Okay, so this is scoreboard enable. So that is easy to do when you're copying so many blocks around the place. Enable. Uh, Tom, I'm so sorry. We'll re-enable it here. Okay. Tom, hey. Do you have Bob's Emeralds? Yes, it's my shiny now. No, you can't. Okay, what if I talk to you again? Hey. Okay, so he's just looping through his first option and his second options, getting to the soft reset and going back. So he's just looping through that. Whereas Tom, uh, Bob, is no longer talking to me. Ah, he is now. I didn't ask. You are useless. He said no. Oh, poop. I didn't ask. You are useless. Okay. So let's do a reset. How can we reset everything? We need to reset our chat progress. Sidebar. Uh, actually, what we'll just do is scoreboard. Let's make an actual reset line in case we want to run it again. We've put you there. Get a button, get a sign. Reset. Scoreboard. Players. Reset. All players. Chat progress one. Done. Going to copy that. This is the way you're facing, isn't it? Yeah. Chain, always active. Chat progress two. So that's my chat progress reset. So effectively, I should now be a new player coming into the map. So for me, we're on zero. Okay, let's have a little test. Right. Hi, Bob. How are you? Hello. Tell me about Tom. Tom has my emerald. Go and get it. Yeah, okay. Where is Tom? He's right next to me. Are you blind? Yeah, Bob. Hey, Tom. Hey, do you have Bob's emerald? Now, if I go back to Tom, he should still be stuck in the first messages. Yep, he's still looping through those first messages. He's still on this bit here. Okay, now, when we click on Tom, that's, that's when we progress Bob's chat. Do you have Bob's Emerald? Yes, it's my shiny now. No, you can't. Okay. So either one of those would progress his chat. Will Tom give my Emerald back? I didn't ask. 
You're useless. He said no. Oh, poop. Okay. So, you we can, uh, that is the entire system, basically. Obviously, where we're doing stuff here, like we're, we're in increasing Bob's chat progress. So what we're doing is we're taking him from his initial options and moving him onto the second group of options. There's nothing to stop you putting in here, um, you know, set a block somewhere, open a door, um, instant damage, any, any command you want, really. Uh, so he, he could have the options. Um, can I have it back? Yes, you can. No, you can't. And then when you say yes, you can in here, you have the little resets on the end. So you would take them off, put them like that. And in here you would, um, well, let's try it. I mean, this is, this video has been long enough already, so we shouldn't be messing around, but let's try it. Let's say, um, home delete. So it's give end. It's always nice when you can spell emerald. Yeah, is that right? Okay, let's just try it. Hey, Tom. Hey, do you have Bob's emerald? He gave it to me. He says, yes, it's my shiny now, but he gave it to me because we put the command in. So now we could go back to Bob and Bob could say, do you have my emerald? And I can say yes. And we could put a command in his little line that takes the emerald off me. And then Bob says, thank you very much. Here's lots of money. I love you. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, enough. That's so uh, we've got proximity. That All that's doing is saying, which NPC am I near? Then we have controller for Bob's dialogue and his triggers. And we have controller for Tom's dialogue. And his triggers. So I'll let you uh, digest that and go through it. Obviously, if you've got any questions, chuck them into the comments. Um, but it's definitely working. So please don't make the comment, it doesn't work, because I won't be able to help you. You'd have to be a lot more precise. We know it's working because I can see it's working here. Anyway, enough of that. I've used up so much of your day. Go and enjoy the rest of it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.